Hello everyone, I just want to show you a little time management program that I've created. Ideally used for artists and developers, musicians, creative people. Um, what I've got here is a, a list that I've created for myself, but it's kind of a generalized list. It's got some exercise, cycling in there, some game dev, drawing, tutorials, watch great, you know, various things. Uh, and when you put up the program, you'll, you'll see this uh, little request of how many hours you're willing to work today. like. If you've got the day off, if it's the weekend and you want to do some hobby stuff or better yourself, then you can just put in the number of hours you have. So I'm going to put in seven hours, press enter. And what it will do is it will allocate these seven hours for any given task uh, and it just picks them at random. If I don't like two hours of exercise cycling or the whole list, I can just right click to get a different setup. <laughs> Again, it's giving me that. So right click until you get something you like or if you want you just press R to restart the whole thing put in the seven hours again and see how it's allocated my time here so that looks a bit better to me may not like two hours exercise and cycling it might knocker me out so I'll right click and there we go two hours personal project work that's ideal uh, you know some hard surface practice that's a 3d modeling term for making something like a robot Tidy up time could be just tidying up the house because that always makes you feel better, right? Yeah, right. Texturing practice, character sculpt, do my do my Trello to-dos, which is something I, I tend to build up Trello's quite a lot, so I've always got a lot of to-dos. Uh, on the right, you'll see some commands here. It's very uh, hacky at the minute because it's a very early version. I just want you guys to check it out, test it. But how this works is you've already seen me reset it by pressing R. You can right click to randomize, you saw me do that. You can left click the time bar to toggle pause, but you first have to click it to make it start. All of this is going to run really quickly because I've set it up to be, no I've not actually, I've set it up to be real time. But let me just quickly change that. So I've just made this little hack to my code. So this is going to run as if hours were, were minutes instead. So let's run that. Okay, I'll just put in seven hours again, see what I come up with. Okay, so watch some tutorials. And you'll see that start to tick down. Now in real terms, that would be three hours worth. And when it's done, you'll hear a little ting. And you can, by all means, you can just check this as if it's a, a checklist. But once that runs down, I'll just restart that again. And do I'll just do one hour. And just click that. And you'll see that will run down, and when it finishes, you'll get this little checkbox. Uh, you can left click to pause it if you have to disappear, do something else, and you want to come back and carry on to do your hours worth. Come back and pause it, and then unpause it. And there's also a quick save and a quick load. These run very kind of locally, so I wouldn't really depend on these too much. Um, they're not day dependent or anything, but they are kind of like one-off files that you only save one file and save and load it. And that's probably tightly based on the version number. If I do an update, some of these variables might get lost. So yeah, it works locally. So I'm going to just pause that there, press S for a quick save. And when I restart the program and put in something completely different, uh, I can always go back to that, that save by pressing L to load that previous setup. So it's a pretty handy tool. Um, if you find that I've not populated this list with anything that interests you, let me know and I can always add them in. Um, if you want a customized table uh, for your own needs, let me know a little list and I can make up one just for you. It might only have uh, four or five things. That way it's less likely to be so randomized. So uh, I'm just going to show you again, four hours. Enter. It's giving me two hours each of these. I can right click to change those, but not the time. I'd have to restart it. And four hours. It's going 211 this time. Restart four hours until it gives you what you want. Let's try three hours. <laughs> so it gives you something quite different each time. And that can be pretty handy just for making sure you get the most of it. Uh, even doing something like 15 hours just so that you get enough variety there and you don't have to do all the things you can just say yeah, I don't want to do that I don't want to do that 
I don't want to do that. You just check them off and then you're left with the things that you want to do that day. So that's a good way to do it. So feel free to answer, uh, ask any questions about the software, uh, how I made it, if you're interested in that side of it. You see I use GameMaker. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.